So the topic is, is this, is that fighters, when they date a girl, all right, and their balance being on or off, explain. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if shit's not right at home, fucking, and you try and get in that cage and your head's fucked up, it's, it's not in that cage, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be focused on, you know, pussy, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I know this and this. I have locked down my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Instagram, and there's certain stuff. I'm like kind of on cruise control because there's only a select few people that I will actually let know what's wrong with me. And if you only knew the crazy shit that I was doing last night, I'm talking about like people think that I was up like training. Yeah, that was part of it, but I was like, I feel so bad like that I'm trying to get runners high by just staying up and running and running and running and running and working out in steam room and sauna and like I felt like my fucking heart was going to blow up but truthfully I don't want to admit that my my girlfriend and I are trying to work things out and it's a very difficult moment and she dated someone else and she don't know if she really wanted to break that off and like for me I'm kind of like I could move on and somebody asked me like don't you know a lot of models don't you like why does it have to be this one I was like man I've invested my time and I said it's not just that though man like she's lived with me she has gone up to a sweat lodge with me she has gone up and helped me with like Sundance and she's helped me with a lot of things and it's just I could I see my side of the street and I could it's crazy but I do know this. I called her last night and I was like, man, I was like, I need you to get my head together. If we're going to make this work and we're working out the details, the finer points of details of trying to make it work though. But I straight up told her, I said, I need you right now. And I need you to be by my side. And I need like, and I, I've never given anybody. I'm too proud and too arrogant and egotistical and whatnot, but I have, and I can't help it. And it's crazy, man. But any any particular personal, any stories of your own? Oh, you know, I mean, <laughs> too many. Have you any particular one that you've gone into a fight? Maybe you thought that you could have fought maybe a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like. It's just when your head's there, like you have to get past that to the point where you don't, it doesn't matter. Like you don't care so much, you know, like you could have her or not have her and it's not going to affect you. But a lot of guys, they, it's hard to get past that point where like if, if that girl's going to leave or whatever, like it's going to fucking wreck them. It's going to wreck their world. And until you get to that point where you're like, yeah, you know, take her, leave it, you know, knowing that there will always be another one, you know, like once you get to that point, then everything, all the doors open. It, it's, you know what I mean? But you have to get to that point because a lot of guys think, oh, uh, I, you know, I can only be with this one chick and, and, you know, this one, this and that. And like, this one was the one for me. Now you can't think like that. Like, there's, maybe there's just a right chick for a right time, you know? And like, everyone has been, you know, great and helped me learn, you know, in every experience. They've helped me grow. But it's, at the, at the end of the day, like, I watched there, a, there's I'm, other <laughs> I watched a movie with Jake Gyllenhaal and it was uh, it was called uh, Jarhead and it was specifically about Marines but my question is this um, do you remember whenever he's talking about you know all of them like they all pushed off and they went over you know they went overseas and they went to the Middle East and he's like Jody's banging her right now oh like, yeah like you like, that that'll fuck your head up over, you know overseas for sure dude Dudes fucking lose their minds off that shit. But, like, yeah, you got, like, it's so important to get past that. And once you do get past that, man, like, fucking everything, like, it's, <laughs> everything opens up, man. It's fucking beautiful. Like, you just, it's, you have to understand that there will be another one. There will always be another one. And, and this next one might be, bring better things to the table than that last one. You know, I mean, there's always, like, just because one didn't work out doesn't mean that, you know, fucking, like, it might not have just been right, man. Like, but you got to get to that mental point, mature, that mental maturity to where you're like, yeah, dude, 
on to the next like not nothing disrespectful towards them but there's there's always been another one there's always been another one that comes so it's like once you get that like, the advice that I got out of this one is this is that like have a balance men have a balance between you could have her or you could not have her not that you're saying that you don't appreciate her that you don't value her but it's going to help you with your you know mentality though to be able to function in life to be able to uh, do your business be able to go out and hunt bring some food back to the table and that's 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 the thing though is that spiritually like people cannot define you Another thing is like a lot of people, a lot of guys try and force it. They like try and force like, oh, I need to have a chick right now. Sometimes you just might not be ready for it. You know what I mean? Like it's just the reality is that you think you're ready for it, but you might not be ready for it. And you have to come to that acceptance of like, all right, maybe once I really am ready for it, it will come and the right one will come. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And like if, if a chick is bringing you down or like fucking your head up, she probably ain't the right one, dude. Like, so, bye, like, uh, good on, you know, good luck to you, but, you know, no sweat I, off my back. I had a trainer, like, I had a trainer one time, this, my trainer was like, he was like, I'm not sure, Bill, that you could actually handle a model, I'm not even sure that you could do this, he said, because models constantly get hit on, he goes like, if you thought just a regular person was getting hit on, he goes, try three or four times as much, he goes, everybody's trying to stick it to him, he said, you might want to get you a fat girl, he said, because they're nurturing. He goes, spiders are very selfish. He goes, you're constantly in a gym all the time. You're getting beat up. You need somebody to kind of bandage your wounds. You need somebody to constantly like pay you compliments. And he goes, you're building yourself and building yourself. And you listen to YouTube videos and constantly brainwashing yourself that, fuck, I can do this. But your leg and toe is about to break and fall off. And your mind is getting smashed in, though. Your ego's getting constantly hurt. You're getting right-sized every fucking day. He goes, I don't know if you could handle one. Yeah, so gotta, a lot of people, like, man, like fighters. You got to find that balance of, like, a of a girl that's beautiful on the inside but then can also be beautiful on the outside but you got to find that inner beauty first otherwise like you know the ones that are so superficial fuck bye like <laughs> don't really have time for you any of that bullshit like find the beauty on the inside first and then then you know like you can help each other build a beauty on like on the outside and all that other shit you know but if you don't have it on the inside first <laughs> Goodbye. Like, no thanks. Yep. Not even interested. Yeah. All right, we're at eight minutes. We got to get to the gym. We're going to Lifetime. Right up here. It's a beautiful gym. You guys ever get a chance, roll by.